Oh. Um, I'll give you the big introduction. All right. After playing the good guy on Heroes, you were so great on Heroes for Thank four you. seasons. Milo Ventimiglia goes the other way in Gotham. He's playing a serial killer who targets young women in Gotham City and eventually becomes a character well known to Batman fans, the Ogre. special. Please, please don't hurt me. You know, I really thought you were the one. Please. Don't worry. Sooner or later, I'll find her. Where were you? Uh, that was in New York, but that wasn't even happening. No, I bet where were you here? Oh, you? that was me. I was missing. You? I see. Yeah, where were you? You're back in I was the gonna take. Time. I was going to take the hot seat, but I think you <laughs> handled it much better than I do. I um, know. Hi, good to see you again. How are you? I know, I'm good. Yeah. I'm very well. We were well. just talking about the last, the last time, time he was here. It was for Chosen, for Crackle. That's right. Since then, you went to Europe. I've done a lot. Visited done, the homeland I, Yes, Sicily. of course. I know. We're going to talk about Sicily in a second. Yeah, yeah. I went to Sicily. I uh, went to the hometowns of my great-grandparents So you're both Sicilianis, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, all right. So. Only the good And other things. Should I be scared? You should. I mean, okay. we're bookends right here. That's yeah. right. Yeah, no. that you're going to be a fine chapter in the middle. Yeah. This uh, character you're mm -hmm. playing, perhaps you can tell, you can't tell us everything, obviously, is the worst character in history. I mean, he's a serial killer. He's a guy who's but even preying on that, women. Yes, yeah, yeah. He's, beyond he's, a serial killer, it gets worse. Well, he's he's preying on women. Yes. Um, he's you know, and and you know, as an actor, I try and find something to identify with the guy. Yeah. And he's just looking for love. Um, in all the wrong places. In, no, no, no. He's looking in the right places, but the way that he's looking for it is, is the, the most deplorable way. He's looking for a love that is unconditional, but he really pushes past the line of what is unconditional love is. Is anybody else going to see him this way? No. I don't know. I'm, look, I'm sure there's going to be a, probably a couple fans that'll be like, I don't really care. Come so kill me. We talk you know? to actors all the time who play villains, and yeah. we always discuss about how you play this guy as a good guy because the ogre doesn't think he's a bad guy. He's no. just looking for love. Exactly. You know what I you know what I did? I played him very sincere and very mm. earnest. Smart. And he is wanting wow. to find that partner. I mean, you know, and he's looking for someone like who's it. probably as demented and sick as he is. Yeah. But at the same time, There's some wine in the kitchen. you know, he's he's willing to 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 look for it. If it doesn't work out, well, it doesn't like, work out. He's just actors always say you you never play a bad guy as a bad guy. No. No. But the reason I say he's particularly contemptible, mm -hmm. even in the category of serial killers, is he will find what you love. Yeah. And kill Go that. After it. Yeah. So this, this is why the police department, the Gotham Police Department, yes. is not going after him in the way they should. You yeah. He's, he's, he's uh, Gotham uh, City Police Department's dirty little secret. Right. They say he is someone that is kind of untouchable because cops are afraid of him. Detectives mm -hmm. are afraid of him. They don't want to put one of their loved ones at risk. But then you've got Jim Gordon, played by the great Ben McKenzie. You know, and Jim Gordon, he doesn't care. He is, he is, And he that's is, your buddy, right? He's yes. my buddy, yeah. We've known each other a bunch of years. Is this why you were in Gotham? Exhibit. I, I don't know. I, no, actually, I think it was Bruno Heller who, who brought me on board, who was yes. the creator of the so show. So Italians stick together. Yeah. Is he Siciliano as well? Uh, Bruno? Bruno? I mean, Heller, he's a good name. chance. Heller sounds more like he's one of mine. Not really <laughs> um, Maybe half and half. But, but okay. yeah, but, but Ben I'd known for a long time, and, you know, Bruno brought me I, in. Where'd, with, you meet the, where'd you meet him? Uh, ben, just being an actor. Yeah. You know, you, you go, in the, same, yeah, you go yeah. in the same rooms, you go in the same auditions, you go to the yeah. same parties, and whatnot when you're in your early 20s, mm -hmm. mid-20s, and then all of a sudden you're just like... And now you're friends. Almost every... Every actor says the biggest thrill is playing an evil person it's right. rather than a good person. Mm -hmm. It seems like so much fun. It, it, it definitely is a blast, but I mean, on this, like, is it wrong to say that I just kind of played myself for a minute? <laughs> serial killer? Goes no, 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 not a serial killer, but I was just like, just I'm like, this guy's charming and sincere, and he, like, really does want to find that girl, and, and then there's, there's a switch that flips. Yeah. And he goes very dark and very so calm and very... Do very you have to get... Methodic. Are you the type of person, the type of actor that takes that home with you a little bit and that, oh, I try that not darkness? To. Oh, I gotta get rid of How it. How can you take you kinda this like home? You kind of like shake it off. I have to. Yeah. Well, you have to like kind of study serial killers and you're gonna have yeah. to like get, go to that place. But also, as Lawrence Olivier once said, 
It's called acting, my it's dear called boy. It's called acting. acting. Yeah. My dear boy. My yeah. dear boy, yeah. 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 You do have to remember that. You know. Yeah, Dustin Hoffman, uh, Marathon Man. Um, yeah. The, the, the tooth drilling scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Well, Dustin Hoffman stayed up all night in the scene that he was supposed to be sleeping. Comes in looking awful. Yeah, and he goes, it's called acting, my dear boy. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Yes. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. But so, that's also a cliche between British actors and American actors, right? Um, yeah. Maybe. I mean, there's kind of a debate, you know, about British actors and American actors. And you know what? I think actors are actors. doesn't yeah. matter well, British, the, Australian. The cliche is that Brits have the technique down, they walk in and they do it. Mm -hmm. Americans have to live the role. Oh, yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah, kind of a Brando-esque, yes. you know. Yeah. Kind yeah. Of thing. Are you still a super healthy guy? I think so. You're, you're, I try to you be. eat really well, super I don't know, clean. man. I was just at, at a Comic-Con in, uh, in uh, Florida this weekend, and it was like pizza and burritos Did you and eat Oh, I thought you were and... like super vegetarian, over clean. Over-lactarian, over whatever I mean, you are. yeah. I mean, I'm, I, I like to think that I'm pretty healthy uh -huh. and fit and, and, and whatnot, so yeah. I, I do what I can. I need All a little right. of that, man. Well, <laughs> Gotham and the Ogre returns tonight at 8 o'clock right here on Fox. Yeah. Good to see you again, Milo. Thank you for coming by. Good to see you.